Hi everyone, and welcome to Lazy Lion. If you're anything like me, you are probably looking forward to hitting up some concerts and music festivals this summer, and are pretty bummed out about this whole coronavirus situation. But don't fret, because we got you covered with a little known anime called Back Mongolian Chop Squad that will hopefully help satisfy your concert cravings. Now, Beck isn't just a music anime. It's also a great coming of age story that explores how the people we meet throughout our lives, be it friends, mentors, love interests, rivals, or even bullies, each have a hand in shaping us into the people we become later in adulthood. It also shows how people pick up hobbies that soon become their obsessions. <sighs> we know all about that. Now, if our early childhood years are all about acquiring the necessary and basic tools to function in society, such as our ABCs and 123s, our teenage years are about learning to think for ourselves, where we're encouraged to form thoughts of our own. We're exposed to new ideas, new styles, new things like films, books, music, sports, and a variety of hobbies. We find out what we like and what challenges us. This all helps us to become unique individuals and allows us to do our own unique freestyles through life. Kind of like how after you learn the basics of something, you're able to add a bit of your own flair to things. This is the evolution we come to see in our protagonist, Koyuki. Full name, Yukio Tanaka. Koyuki is a 14-year-old boy who is clearly bored with his everyday life of going to school, then playing at the arcades, and then going home to sleep, only to start the whole process again. He feels like he's missing something, but he lacks purpose and direction. That is, until one fateful encounter with the boy and his dog changes everything. So what's the story? One evening while on his way home from the arcades, Koyuki ends up saving this weird looking dog from a group of sadistic children. He later finds out from the dog's owner, Ryusuke Minami, that the dog's name is Beck. Unknowingly to Koyuki, this would become the singular moment that would propel him in a new and intriguing direction. When he runs into Ryusuke again and finds out that he's an amazing guitarist, this push forward only gains momentum. Through his interactions with Ryusuke, he becomes acquainted with the live house music scene and American rock music. Ryusuke, recognizing a bit of himself in Koyuki, decides to even lend him a guitar so that should he ever want to learn, he would have the means to do so. And with the help of some old and new friends along with this newly acquired guitar, that's exactly what Koyuki does. He slowly but surely starts learning how to play, absorbing everything he can along the way. It's only through an impromptu duet that Maho, Ryusuke's younger sister, discovers that Koyuki also has a talent for singing, something she advocates about strongly with her brother Ryusuke, who's starting a band. After a year of learning to play guitar, Koyuki still isn't at the same level as the other members of the band. But Ryusuke sees potential, and therefore, with the approval of the other members, decides to take a chance on him and asks him to join. And so, Ek Mongolian Chop Squad is formed. As the show progresses, we see the struggles and challenges any new band with lofty aspirations will face, and the growth of each character throughout the journey, making Beck Mongolian Chop Squad an entertaining watch. So how was Beck created? Harold Sakuishi, the author of Beck, is known to write manga series about topics that he's passionate about, like baseball and MMA fighting, wanting others to join in his obsessions. So, being a big fan of the Red Hot Chili Peppers, it was only a matter of time before he wrote a series about music. And with that, we got Beck. And it's clear to see how much Sakuishi loves classic rock from all the references throughout the manga. Like the story behind Ryusuke's Gibson Loves Paul, Lucille. Did you know that's based on a true story? This is the original Lucille, which belonged to the musician B.B. King. Many of the characters in the manga are also based on real people, namely musicians. First, we have our three animal mascots, Beck, Jeff Beck, Paige, Jimmy Page, and Keith, Keith Richards, 
Then we have Chiba, who's based on Zack de la Rocha from Rage Against the Machine, and Taira, who's based on Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Next, there's Ryusuke, who people think is based on Jimmy Page or Jimi Hendrix. Personally, we think maybe it's Ryu Kawasaki, who incidentally played a gig with B.B. King, and therefore would have met Lucille. This is just a guess, though. Let us know who you think it is, or if there are any other interesting references you've caught. Now, this being a music anime, we can't not talk about the music. The great thing about anime is that it can give you a more overall experience that a simple manga can't. Actually, being able to listen to these songs and bands makes the whole experience much more immersive. And something that was really cool about the music soundtrack is that it was all done by the Japanese rock band Beat Crusaders. This, in our opinion, was a great move by Anime Studio Madhouse. Who better to create music for a fictional rock band than an actual rock band? They created some pretty catchy tracks, and thanks to working on this video, we've had Moon on the Water stuck in our head for days. We also love the fact that the Beat Crusaders worked with the voice actors on the tracks, which really helped solidify the genuine feel of the show. They were so successful that at times, while listening to the soundtrack, you'll forget that The Dying Breed and Beck Mongolian Chop Squad aren't real bands. And yet, Beck Mongolian Chop Squad has action figures, a video game, multiple soundtracks, and even two signature Fender guitars. Pretty cool. Speaking of guitars, why is Japan so obsessed with American guitar brands? Even if you're a casual watcher of anime, you've still probably come across scenes like these. Something that seems to stick out is that most of the characters tend to be playing one of two guitar brands, namely either a Gibson or a Fender. The creators have some impressive Japanese brands to choose from, so why does everyone seem to be obsessed with American guitar brands? To answer this, we'll need to go into the history of American guitars in Japan. But before we get there, we need to go back to the beginning of it all, way back to the year 1854 when Japan was forced out of its self-isolation by the United States, who wanted access to Japan's markets. During this time, Western music really started showing a prominent influence in Japanese music. In the 1930s, the Japanese market saw a shift of support for jazz and blues music, which in the 1960s naturally progressed to include classic rock. They listened to a mixture of the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, Fleetwood Mac, and Led Zeppelin, among others. Classic rock was seen as rebellious and loud. It was energetic and even sometimes political. All these things further cultivated this perception in Asia that foreigners from the West, and especially Americans, were rebellious by nature. You might be familiar with this stereotype in manga and anime, where Americans tend to be portrayed as unapologetic, bold, outspoken, confident, crass, and generally being more aggressive than the average Japanese citizen was portrayed as being polite and reserved. It's no surprise then that they'd be drawn to the loud and disorderly arrangements of classic rock. There's a certain freedom associated with rock music. Rock bands are able to cut loose and rock out. They have showmanship and they stand out with these larger than life personalities. To many though, these rock legends such as Eric Clapton, Jeff Beck, Jimmy Page, John Lennon, Jimi Hendrix all feel pretty beyond reach and untouchable. But they're legendary instruments. Well, with enough pocket chains saved up, you too can own a Gibson EDS 1275 guitar. The same guitar that Jimmy Page rocked out on during Led Zeppelin's live concert performances of Stairway to Heaven. And perhaps that's the draw of the American guitars. They're cool and rebellious by association and owning one makes you feel a bit like a rebel as well. So for a Japanese person who wants to emulate that rebellious nature in a safe and respectful way, when buying a guitar, it's gotta be American, especially if you're looking to reproduce that classic rock sound. Now, back to the reason you're all here, the anime. For those of you who are curious, there is an English dub of Beck Mongolian Chop Squad that was done by Funimation, which we've read good things about. 
Personally though, we saw this in its original Japanese dub with English subtitles. And looking back, we're glad that we did. When we first watched it, sure, we had some gripes about that English, which can be pretty jarring, and so can their portrayal of Americans. But it was nice to see that the creators and even the characters were aware that Japan's grasp of English isn't the best. There's something genuine about the grammatically incorrect English in the songs that makes you feel like, yeah, this is how a real Japanese band singing in English would probably sound like. So, with that in mind, give this anime a shot and enjoy some grateful sound. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching and stay obsessed.